What's going on? Facebook, YouTube, and all the other social media networks and outlets out there. Um, this is Kevin at Kevin's Corner, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm mad, y'all. You know why I'm mad? Because I'm watching the reaction uh, from a lot of black people concerning the firing of Omarosa. And they think that this is some type of victory, some type of validation um, when it comes to how black people view a lot of black people view Donald Trump, how they view the Republican Party. And they're basically saying, you know what? You shouldn't have had your butt over there in the first place. You should have stayed on the plantation with the rest of us. And when you talk about irony, what gets me is that black people who look at Republicans, black Republicans, they think that the Republican Party is using us to try to win over black votes. That is funny. That's the definition of irony. When in reality, they are the ones being used to win over the, the votes for the Democratic Party. And the crazy part is they don't even know it. See, black conservatives, black Republicans, see, we choose to be Republican. Blacks that are not Republican and just vote Democrat without even knowing why, because they have been simply manipulated to vote Democrat. They're unwilling. They're not willful participants, even though they think they do. They think that they're saying, I'm voting a Democrat because the Democrats look out for us and the Republicans are all racist and, and all they want to do is just uh, uh, keep us down, blah, 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 blah. And that is exactly what the Democrats want you to think. And it burns me up when I see reactions from a lot of blacks concerning Omarosa. Now, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not here to support Omarosa, but what makes me mad is that they're attaching the firing of Omarosa to, for whatever reason, the decisions of black people to vote Republican or that have voted for Donald Trump. Like, see y'all, see what happens when y'all vote Republican or see what happens when you, when you vote for Donald Trump, see how he used you up, see how he blank, blank, blank. And all those blacks that are criticizing her, most of them, will never and have never accomplished what she did. And yet they out there judging her for whatever reason. But nonetheless, that's not what I'm really trying to defend. What I am want to focus on is the irony of a lot of blacks thinking that they're doing the black community a favor by supporting the Democrats and by shaming other blacks that don't. And here's what gets me. They think that they're the black police. Basically, we determine your blackness and it all revolves around your voting affiliation. You can't be really black if you vote for Trump or you can't be really black if you vote uh, Republican. And that is exactly what the demo masters want them to do. And they don't even see it. I was reading all the comments and the reactions and I'm going, boy. Y'all are doing exactly what the demo masters have trained you to do. And yet you call black Republicans sellouts, coons, Uncle Toms. Do you realize that that is an old trick of slave masters? It is to control all of the slaves. We convince them that we, the slave masters, have your best interests. Okay? Yeah. We'll convince them that we will continue to supply all of your needs is safer and better to stay here on the plantation with Massa. And if one of y'all decide to start thinking too much, too independently, if one of y'all see through the manipulation of Massa and decide you're going to leave, you're going to mess it up for the rest of them. So if y'all hear, y'all get wind of one black person, one slave deciding, nah, man, Massa, I got a feeling he up to something. You know, I got a feeling Massa don't mean me well. I'm about to leave. Y'all all gather around and say, what you talking about? You about to, you can't leave Massa. What's wrong with you? You gonna mess it up for all of us. And that is exactly what black people are doing. When they attack other black people that are Republicans or that are conservatives and shame them. Coon. I've never heard a white person call me a coon. I've never heard any of the white Democrats call me sellouts, coons. You know what they do? They leave that up to black people. 
They say, you know what? We can't come out and call all the black people coon sellouts. We can't use the race card that we're so used to using with them. But we can train the black community to whereas when a black person decide, I'm going to use my brains instead of my emotions when I vote. I'm going to see through the manipulation and the false narratives of the Democratic Party. I'm going to see through the fact that the Democrats have simply changed their method of operation since slavery. You know, because it was Lyndon B. Johnson that said he will have those you-know-whats voting for him, voting Democrat for the next 200 years. So since they couldn't convince you on the plantation, you know, back then, what they did is say, you know what, let's just convince them some other way. Let's go ahead and provide a little bit, just a little bit of crumbs for them, and let's give them a whole bunch of talk about how we wear the white hats, we got your back, and let's convince them that those Republicans who did so much to, to, to promote blacks to have independency, to promote blacks to be able to vote, even though we voted against all that stuff, even though we were the ones that really formed the KKK, even though we were the ones that was anti-black, now all of a sudden, they wear the white hats. Now all of a sudden, they got our backs. How can they have our backs when every one of the Democratic-ran cities are garbage? How can they have our backs when they come in and they tell you that everybody else hates you and that they will provide stuff to keep you afloat and all of that? And they only give you the bare minimums. And at the same time, nothing ever changes. You know, I said in another video, some people do stuff for nothing. Okay? I mean, and, and I laugh about it. You know, we had a guy that went to a school that I taught at years ago. Big dude. Didn't play no football. He was big for nothing. You know, it's this one lady who salsa dances. And in salsa dancing... You ain't supposed to be doing too much wiggling and gyrating and Paul Satan. And you know what? She being nasty for nothing. I'm like, you don't need to be that nasty when you dancing salsa, okay? You wasting the nastiness. You being nasty for nothing, okay? Well, you know what? Black people been voting Democrat forever. They've been loyal to the Democratic Party forever. And they being loyal for nothing, okay? You ain't getting nothing out of the Democratic Party except lots of promises manipulation and so on and so forth so when blacks that choose to vote republican we feel good about it because we've been freed from the plantation we voting with our mind we voting with uh, our understanding we voting with seeing the policies we're not voting with uh, a group of people who simply says you know what don't look at all that stuff uh-uh uh-uh no nah, no nah, man don't look up there now nah, focus on me because guess what racism just throw it out there my word that's all i gotta say well, what are you going to do for taxes? Racism. Well, what about, what about the schools? Racism. And, 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 and what, well, wait a minute. What about all this police violence? Racism. Well, what about black on black crime? That's racism too. Uh, what about um, uh, helping us with the job situations and the jobs going over the seas? Racism. Thank you. Any more questions? Well, we got to... Racism. Now go ahead down there and, and, and punch those voting booth uh, totally right on it. That's all they do. Distract you. Racism. And then when a couple blacks say, I don't know about this, man. I, I think this time I'm going to look at what the, the, the Republicans are offering. They go, OK, we can't have that. Surely you can't have Hillary and all of the rest of these folks on TV uh, bashing black Republicans. So what we're going to do, we're going to empower black people to do it hey y'all when y'all hear that one of the black people then went over to the other side we got some choice words we need y'all to call them shame them yeah call them coon call them sellout call them uncle toms use all those terms to make sure they remain on the plantation try to try to shame them and, and, and then we can get them back over here so we can keep giving them false promises and so on and so forth and they get nothing out of it and what's sad is that most unfortunate black people don't even see it. And yet they call us blind. They call us being used by the Republicans. They call us ignorant and had the nerve. One person said, you must not love your people if you voted for Trump. I said, I voted for Trump because I love my people. And y'all have been simply hoodwinked to think that Trump got it in for black people. 
And that is a distraction to keep you from seeing the policies that he's trying to put in that will not only help black people, but will also help Americans, which you happen to live in this particular country. But see, instead of letting y'all focus on that stuff, what they want you to focus on is statues, the flag, mm -hmm. one or two cases of questionable uh, police killings, you know, all of a sudden everybody's being killed on a daily basis and it's all because of racism. They want you to focus on all these other things that really are not going to impact you, your family, your family's family, all of that. Nah, nah, don't focus on that. Uh-uh. Hey, whoa, 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 man. Uh-uh. Racism. So, before you call any other black person that's conservative a coon, stop and think. How am I being used by the demo masters to fulfill their agenda? Since they can't call black conservatives derogatory and racist names and shame them to get back on the democratic plantation, they use black people to do it. And yet, they're the ones that call us the sellouts, Uncle Toms, and Coons. Definition of irony. Anyway, you've been listening to Kevin at Kevin's Corner. I'm sorry I had to talk about that, man. I was, I, every day, I'm seeing, and I'm a roast, and, and they even let the black commentators make comments about it. That really make me mad. See, the white commentators can't get up there and say stuff like, bye, Felicia. They can't get up there and do all that. Girl, please. They can't do it because then they come across as racist. So they use all the sellout uh, anchor women and men, the black ones in there, that's a part of the Democratic plantation too. They use them to do it live on TV to let all America know that, oh, she was a sellout. Mm -hmm. Now look at her. He got rid of her just like he got, and I'm going, y'all are, you, you, you're being dumb for nothing. I hate to say it, dumb for nothing, loyal for nothing. I mean, it's crazy. And it just bothers me. And I'm because I'm black, I can tell it to you to your face. You ain't going to listen if a white person tell you first thing that people say, well, man, you can't tell me nothing. You don't understand the struggle. Yeah, man, you probably racist. Then when a black person tell you, you're like, man, you can't tell me nothing, man. You a sellout. You a coon. I'm black as just as anybody else in America. Probably blacker. You see the skin tone. But the reality is I see through the crap. And a lot of black Americans need to wake up and get hip to the game. You know, the same people who they swear up and down got their back is standing behind them and they're going to continue to do what we want you to do. Get on down to them voting booths and punch Democrat. If you see another black person starting to think freely and get off the plantation, go and call them all kind of racist names to get them back home where they belong. Uh huh. And yet... We're the coons. We're the sellouts. Pfft. Think about that, black people. Anyway, you've been listening to Kevin at Kevin's Corner. Um, I'm sorry if I I'm sorry if I came off with a radical tonight. I'm just mad I'm seeing all this stuff. And it just breaks my heart. Anyway, God bless you. If you like what you heard, hit like and share this video. And also, uh, if you want to donate to Kevin's Corner, there are links in the bottom. You're welcome to do so. And I will see you next time in Kevin's Corner. God bless.